welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to quickly talk to you or just kind of tell you guys how i keep my hair um or how i wear my hair under wigs but before we get started if you guys could do me a favor and ignore my son over here and hit that subscribe button that would be great i would definitely appreciate all of your support so yeah um, quickly i just want to tell you guys why i um wear my hair in mini twists so my hair is in mini twists under this versus wearing my hair in cornrows while doing like while wearing my wigs and that's mainly because wearing my hair in mini twists or as many twists as i can kind of feel like doing allows me to be more versatile with my look and i don't have to wear my wig every single day i'm confident with wearing my hair like this i don't have a problem with it especially if i'm just like hanging out which i honestly you guys look like this about 99 percent of the time um so if i'm running errands if it's of course i'm in houston so it's always hot and humid outside um and if I just don't feel like wearing a wig, I think this just, it it's more presentable to me. I'm not going to walk out of the house with cornrows in my hair. And that was the problem that I had um, at one point in time when I always did cornrows. Because there was one point in time where, of course, cornrows to me, they always give you the flattest look, the flattest, you know slay of course with your wigs and all that kind of stuff i found that doing my hair in mini twists and then cornrowing you know my hair back like i am showing you guys maybe right here um gave me almost the same result or the same look um like if i had done just cornrows so not only of course i can wear my hair out or whatever i want to do with it it allows me to make sure I do not miss a certain part of my hair being moisturized. So I can moisturize my hair every single day and actually get almost every single strand of hair. Um, again with me, I found that during cornrows, I wasn't able to do that. It would kind of be like the middle of my head wouldn't be as moisturized once I took them down as maybe like the ends or something along there was just not quite working out for me. And so with my mini twists, I am just able to really get every single strand so as far as the process goes with keeping my like maintaining my hair keeping it moisturized or whatever you want to call it i use my jamaican black castor oil on my scalp about three times a week um and i try not to do too much but i try to do too little it's kind of like you have to find your own balance my hair doesn't like suck it up super fast but it does like fast enough in that and I don't just want a super super oily scalp and all that I just I personally don't want it um so I try and just do about three times a week after that I use my spray bottle and I'll spray my hair a little bit um as the weeks as the days go by my hair is not gonna stay this stretched out um, it's gonna get you know shrunken the moisture from taking a shower working out all that kind of stuff that's gonna happen so my twists are gonna get a little bit fatter and that's cool and all that doesn't bother me but I use a little bit of water for you know to hydrate my hair and then I always follow up with a leave-in conditioner so my favorite leave-in is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in or I will just use the Moisturize Me Lotta Body Curl and Style Milk. This is also one of my favorites. And I believe that this one is protein free. Don't hold me to that. I will, that's just what I heard or maybe that's what I remember seeing. So yeah, I love both of them. So I just alternate um, between those two. And then I end up sealing with my nasty, nasty, don't judge me y'all. I need to like take some alcohol. You know how you just don't do stuff and it just... You wish you had because now you're embarrassed this is shea and mango butter more so mango butter mango butter than shea um mixture that i made to seal my hair and then that's really it i kind of do a little bit on the edges sometimes and that's all i keep this very very simple very low maintenance low key low everything and so whenever i need to redo my twist i use the main choice ancient egyptian um 24 karat glistening twisting gel and sorry about my nasty hair in there but that's how it looks you guys this is my favorite favorite gel to do twists with um i just i absolutely adore this gel this is my second one and yeah i just 
love 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 that stuff also so. with keeping my hair in mini twists i don't have to deal with like too much manipulation um single strand knots knotting tangles all that kind of stuff my hair stays in a stretch state and also i can co-wash my hair like this because i've started to co-wash my hair a lot more and use a little bit less shampoo because that's just what works for me um i can co-wash it in mini twists and repeat the same process i can do a deep conditioner i can do everything i would normally do with my hair out um with my mini twist i don't want to keep it too long you guys but yeah so if you were kind of on the fence or you just really don't know what to do with your hair under wigs or how to get maybe the best like i want to say bang for your buck but that's not the word i'm trying to use but just like get that retention going you know, just want to retain your length even when yeah. i take my hair all the way down and shampoo it and give myself like a really good cleanse um my hair is not tangled it's not knotted and i still work in like four sections or two sections and i'm still good to go so i love this style i hope it was helpful for you guys um if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please let me know and I will, whoa, I will answer them down below like always. That's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Isaiah, say bye-bye since you're all over me. Say bye. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys.